All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Got a really couple busy months with you. First of all, happy Easter for all you practicing Christians out there. And if you don't practice Christianity, hey, ma'am, to each their own, isn't it? And it leads me to my video here I'm pulling up because the world's getting ready to be a shit show. It actually is a shit show. Uh, and I hate to start off with that with the negativity, but when you have an administration, and I'm just going to say this, that are more, they're more concerned about the happiness of everybody and uh, making sure everybody's being treated like fairly, regardless of who they are at the disparity of uh, other people's rights. And, uh, well, free speech is gone. As I see it, you can no longer say anything, uh, speak your mind or anything else. Well, as well as the uh, Second Amendment is under constant attack every single day, isn't it? So with that, you know, this is kind of a rant. This is kind of a BS session for you and me, kind of to share our thoughts. Uh, first of all, uh, yeah, as a global power, we are a total shit show. I remember, who's that guy? He's an economics guy. He's got glasses, and he was talking about uh, the West is a joke. Everybody thinks we're a bunch of Kansas City faggots running around here. Sorry if that it upsets you that I say that, but it's the truth. Uh, we are more concerned about transgenders or being happy and being able to shoot up schools or people being able to shoot up schools without being <laughs> worried about them being transgendered. Me, personally, here's my whole thing. Here's my whole outlook as I get emails after emails, not related to YouTube. My whole outlook is this. Do your thing. You do you. But please don't make it so I have to throw a party for you every goddamn... Um, excuse my French. Sorry for all you guys. Uh, it, please don't make it so I have to throw a party. I mean, if I don't agree with what you're doing, that's my personal belief. I don't agree with what you're doing. You may not agree with what I'm doing. And that's the cool part about this country. We don't have to agree with one another, but when you force that stuff down my throat, no pun intended, <laughs> it's kind of idiotic. When you're forcing it on our children at the, uh, at the, at the uh, against a, a parent's will, because you call it general learning, uh, yeah, that that's ridiculous. You do you. I, I respect you doing you, but don't make me have to do you at the same time. Sorry, that just came out right. I'm enjoying some uh, boiled peanuts. And these guys are brought to you by Peanut Patch. Also, the guys over there, uh, I, I can't wait. There's a gentleman who called me the other day, and he asked me if I'd like to do a review on a flamethrower. And I said yes before it even got out. As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to start shooting three gun here in a few days. Uh, I'm very excited about that. We're going to be doing a Tar Hill Challenge down at the Clinton House Plantation. We're going to be signing up again for the Memorial Three Gun this year. I am going to be shooting what they call uh, some modified tech optics or some shit like that. Uh, anyway, you're going to be able to be able to run a red dot on your firearm, which will I'll break out the old uh, Legion X5 for that and the Leopold. Uh, anyway, again, here's the whole thing. Yeah, first of all. I am sick and tired of everybody trying to make it out like you're a bad guy if you're not putting these guys in the forefront and cheering and laughing. Oh, goodness gracious, it's such a wonderful thing, the transgender party. I don't care, man. Dress up as a woman. Go do your thing, man. But the one guy on Instagram said, you will respect us. Fine. There's your respect. What do you want me to do? Give you a pat on the hiney? Make sure you're happy as a lark? I really could care less. Go do your thing. And I think if you just turn your back on them, that's going to make it harsh. But again, like I said, when you start pushing that shit down our throats and wanting us to celebrate, I mean, what is this shit uh, oh, uh, a transgender woman was woman of the year? Well, you know, matter, matter of fact, for all you ladies out there, real ladies, I'm sure, uh, here again, men dominate. Yes. So with that being said, that's just my point of view. We're, we're, our military is more concerned about equity and all this other stuff and equality when you're going to be promoted based on the color of your skin or who you trans or who you identify as that day versus your accomplishments and good people. And that's the reason I say this, because the people who argue against this, good people are going to be left behind in the effort to create a more equitable environment and equity does not belong in our military. General Mattis said it the right way when he was asked about the question, when it went off, like, well, are you going to make sure? He goes, ma'am, my goal as a Secretary of Defense is to create a fighting force. When they're on the front lines and they're shooting each other, nobody really cares about all that mess. So here it is. We've got an administration that that's all they care about. And they're leaving the world behind. Now you got this thing up in Canada. 
my good friend conservative sniper hunter sent me this deal and they're like i'm sure this is going to be something that would be pushed throughout on a global scale i hope it is but you know what we don't have to listen to it and bud light is it bud light hey man you guys are getting ready to feel the ramifications of your equitable social woke ass decision so with that being said guys <laughs> I'm really, really depressed in where our country is right now. Everybody I see, they're shaking their head. This BS with the Donald Trump uh, being arraigned, uh, yeah, man, that is the ultimate in BS. And if this is the route we're going to take, I anticipate you better go ahead and keep your powder dry. And I can't remember the other part of it. Because there are decisions that are going to be made here very soon, and you're going to have to pick out what side you're on. And I hope your little, 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 old, little fly boys and, and uh, what do you call them, little dancers that like to dance for children at a school or in a library, tweaking their little asses, thinking that that's something normal? Are you at your ass? Yeah, pick a side. This is KB32. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform. 24 7 for Freedom's freedom is not free. And again, like I said, you do you. I don't care. I, I, whatever. But don't make me have to throw a damn party for you. How about that? It's KB32. I'm out of here. Boom.